Hi Akron After School Kids and welcome back to another class of origami with Miss Myers. So yet yeah, a few days ago we made a snake. Today we're going to make this cute little pig. So I want to teach you how to make it. First you need a piece of paper. Okay. You're going to take it and fold it corner to corner and then corner to corner again. Remember these lines are just to help you so it's okay if they're not exact. So you're going to take one corner, put it to the center point like that. Take another corner and put it to the center point again. Now you are going to fold it over like that. You're going to flip this up. You're going to flip the little nose down. Okay, just like that. And then you're going to flip the little corners down to make ears. Just like that. And then you can add eyes. and a nose, and you have your very own little pig. Oink, 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 oink. Now, today I started off with a craft before I kind of went into the history. So, we are now going to discuss a little bit about where origami crafts like the pig come from. So, origami was a way for them to express themselves. Just like if a pig is your favorite animal, that you might make a little bit more pigs than you would anything else. Well, they use materials, recreational materials, such as cloth and other materials used that they could get their hands on. Since paper was a little bit harder back then to get their hands on. So, we had made a pig today, and a few days ago we made a snake. I hope you enjoyed today's craft. When you get the chance, take a picture of it. Show me how you created it. And remember, you can use paper, lime paper, craft paper, printer paper, any kind of materials you want, as long as you have permission to do so. And I cannot wait to see what you guys create. I can't wait to hear from you soon. Bye, guys.